James George, and this is Web Design Blog. Today I'm going to talk about uh, text alignment and uh, formatting text using Bootstrap. So if you've ever tried to make text do something in CSS using another anything else except for a framework, then you know that it can be a pain sometimes just um, getting things to look like they're supposed to. But if you learn the ins and outs of Bootstrap's formatting for text and classes, then it can be really easy to format text. So let's take a look at um, this little template that I'm building right now. Uh, typically in a carousel, the text is centered. Uh, by default, but let's say you wanted this to be to the left. All you'd have to do is you go to where uh, the text is, and you see H2 and the serenity of being your own boss. Actually, I'm going to do it on the first slide just because when I refresh, it's going to pop there. So you've got your whatever tag that you're going to do this on, uh, whether it's your uh, header tags or your p tags, it will work the same. And if you just go class equals text dash left, that's all you have to do and save it. So we'll pop back over there. And you can see that this isn't centered anymore. This is pulled to the left. The same is if you change left to right. And now it's over to the right. It's that easy. And the same thing works if you have a full width div, uh, let's say a row, and uh, you have text that will automatically be uh, left aligned. What you can do is just say text center. So just change right to center and it will be in the middle. Uh, just like in, in the carousel. And that's how easy that is to do. So if you want to do other formatting things to your text. Let's uh, I'm gonna take off this class. Let's say you wanted this to be underlined. You can actually use the U tag and it will be underlined. There it is. You see that it's underlined now. Another thing you can do is you can wrap certain text in what is called a small tag to emphasize that it is small. So now this text has the small class applied to it and it is uh, small and gray. And so I know you're a busy bee and now it's smaller. You can also highlight text with something called the mark tag. And this is if you really want to emphasize something on a page, like let's say you have a long body of text and you want to emphasize uh, what it says. I'm just going to get rid of these tags here. We'll go down to where I have a little bit more text. Let's say that I wanted to highlight this. If I just add mark then when we refresh and scroll down you can see that this is highlighted 
And of course you can change this in the CSS in your bootstrap um, folder to where this could be a different color uh, for more emphasis. If you want text to, to stand out, you can add a class of lead to it. So let's say I'm going to go back and change mark and get rid of mark. And we're going to change this. Not that you would do this for this paragraph, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So now this it should be applied to this one. You can see that this text is is much larger, but it's not bold, it's plain text, it's just larger formatting. And that's uh, the way to do that. If you want to emphasize something with italics, then you would use M. Oops, it auto automatically completed it for me. So we'll go back. And you can see that now this is uh, italicized. And just like in uh, any other uh, HTML document, you can use strong for uh, to bold your text as well. So let me refresh. Now that's uh, bolded text. You can also transform how text is rendered. So if you have a whole set of text, let's say that uh, someone sends you a document and uh, all they left a caps lock on, you don't have to live with that and you don't have to retype it over again. You can, but you don't have to. I'm, I'm just saying you can apply a class to it. See, this, this text is not you have some uh, capital letters and uh, some aren't. So let's apply uh, a couple of classes to it. So if you apply lowercase, uh, I'm sorry, text lowercase, text dash lowercase class to your text, then all of it will be lowercase. There's not a capital letter in the entire paragraph. And the same goes for uppercase. So text uppercase, now it's in all caps. And then if you want title case, then you can change uppercase to capitalize. This is really handy if you want to, uh, you know, especially for titles and things like that, that you want the first letter of every word to be capitalized uh, for a formal design or something like that. Now every, the first letter of every word is capitalized just by using uh, text-capitalize as your class. Well, that's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Web Design Blog.